Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add PowerShell to the context menu on Windows 10. So if you just were to right click anywhere, again, this is a context menu. So if you were to right click on a file or folder, it should appear somewhere in here. So we're going to go about doing that. And we are going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should go back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before we begin, I would suggest creating a backup of your registry. So if anything went wrong or if you just wanted to restore it back at a later date, I'm going to show you guys how to create the backup and that would be to just left click on the file tab and then select export. File name, save it as the date that you are making the backup, export range, keep it at all, and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer so if you ever need to recover it, you want to obviously be able to find where you saved it. So pretty straightforward, then you would just finish it off by selecting save. And if you need to import it back in, you would select file and then import. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK classes root folder. Now just left click on one of the folders here at random, doesn't matter which one, and just start typing directory. So it might not get us right there, but it's going to get us close. So it should take us within a few folders of directory. So go ahead and just double click on the directory folder. And there should be a shell folder in here. Just go ahead and left click on that. Now, since you've just selected the shell folder, you want to right click on it, select new, then select key, name this key power shell desktop exactly as it appears on my screen. So the first letter, each word. So in this case, PowerShell is broken up. So the P in power, the S in shell, and the D in desktop should all be capitalized. No spaces at all in between any of these words here. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now on the right side, there should be a default string value here. Go ahead and double click on that. Now I'm going to just tell you guys to type into this value data field, open and then space power shell heater. So exactly as it appears on my screen. So open power shell here. You want to have a space in between each of the words. PowerShell is one word, but the P in power and the S in shell are both capitalized. The rest of the letters are lowercase, except for obviously the O in open and the H in here. So exactly as it appears on my screen, hit enter or OK to save that. And once you are done with that, now you want to right click on the PowerShell desktop key on the left side that we created a couple minutes ago. Right click on it, select new, and then select key. Now you want to call this key command, two M's in command by the way, hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And now on the right panel again there should be a default string value, a new default string value not the same one as the PowerShell desktop key. Now we're going to be going underneath the command key, again want to make sure that's very clear you guys, or it's not going to work obviously. And now double click on this string value. And now I will have you guys copy this string value from the description of my video. It's very long here. So we're just going to paste it in. So copy from my description and paste it in. If there's any commands in here or any letters or characters that the YouTube description will not let me paste in, I might post it on a third party paste bin website or something like that. But hopefully I should be able to paste it in, into the description of the video for you guys. And also note that the directory goes underneath the C drive. So if Windows is installed on a different drive letter, you guys should go swap out the C with that respective drive letter. Um, if you're doing a tutorial like this, you guys should be able to figure out what drive letter Windows is installed on. I shouldn't have to hold your hand for that. But again, just make sure Windows is on the correct drive, which most people is the C drive, but like I said, could be another drive letter. I have tutorials on my channel already on how to determine that. But anyway, go ahead and select OK. And once that is done, you want to go ahead and just close out of the registry. 
you will need to restart your computer for this to take effect. So let's go ahead and just close out of here and let's restart our computer. Okay, so now for the moment of truth, if we right click on a folder or a file, you can see there's an option to open PowerShell here. Also, it's another piece of information. If you did want to go back and change the first string value we created where it said open PowerShell here, you could just have something that said open PowerShell or something like that. You don't have to have it exactly how I have it worded here, but I feel like that's pretty straightforward, so that's why I had it said like that. So when you open the PowerShell here, it should go right to the directory, which is definitely useful. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.